The report also reveals that senior as an a senior ANC leader exercises firm control of these contracts awarded. He controls people high up in the Pumalanga power stations to approve contracts for friends and family. He controls senior officials in Pumalanga, such as police and traffic police chiefs and city councillors. Information suggests that contract beneficiaries pay him kickbacks for tenders awarded to his influence, and that this money is shoved into Jojo tanks on his private property. These are serious allegations, and they reach right up to the top and into the heart of government. Yet again, the ANC finds itself as accused number one. Let's put the facts on the table. We all know who this person being referred to is Mr. Didi Mabuza. And we all know how connected he is with the ANC. And we all know how terrified the ANC is releasing this information. That is the reality here today. The ANC is going to wait till he's safely ensconced in Russia, like they waited for the Guptas to be in Dubai and Mr. Grizzi to be in Italy before this parliament slowly gets off and does anything. And that is why load shedding is going to be with us for time to come. This corruption is never going to come to an end because the ANC doesn't want it to come to an end. The only way it's going to come to an end is when this country cuts the power of the ANC in the next election in 2024. They've shown today their lack of argument, their poor grasp of the allegations and what needs to be done, and the fact that they should actually, in Makwanazi's case, rather go and resign and be part of Eskim because she clearly doesn't want to do her job as a member of parliament, which is holding the executive accountable. This is going to be another failure of parliament. Wait and see. And when we have another yeah, commission uh, inquiry, this point 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 will be uh, uh, Thank you. Well, that must be taken in court when by mentioning people casting us questions here. Yeah. Didi must sue you.